Bob Grows here in beautiful South Florida, in my garden. Thank you for tuning in. You guys are due for an update. Over here we have the Dutch buckets. Over here we have the media beds. As you can see, I'm holding in my hand a beautiful beefsteak tomato that we harvested today. This thing clocks in at seven and a half ounces. This is a heavy sucker and there's bigger ones on there. Let's flip around the camera, take a look. There is no better feeling in these tough times to be able to grow your own vegetables, your own herbs, your own fruits. You don't have to go to the grocery store where people are going mad crazy over toilet paper. Here's the star of the show. This is my beautiful beefsteak tomato vine. This particular tomato did not come from this vine, but I'll show you which one it came from. And these are all clones of each other. You can see that this is absolutely loaded already with tomatoes even bigger than the one I'm holding. They should clock in well over half a pound each. As you go towards the top, you can see that the tomatoes are not big, as big, and they have a different kind of shape to them. I believe that's because the tomatoes towards the bottom are taking up the energy needed to grow more, but that's okay because we have tons of tomatoes. I'm not gonna talk about the first one over here. That's for another project, another video. Right here we have the cayenne pepper. This plant was on the verge of death. This was inside and it got some type of disease or nutrient deficiency and it was looking really, really bad. All the leaves look like this. Now you can see it's lush and beautiful and very, very productive. There are literally peppers everywhere. There's even some drying out here, which I will harvest later once they're fully dried out. Here is another vine, the same one as this one over oh, as this one over here. You can see that they're a different shape. You can see that there's no uh, fruits on this side because this is where I recently harvested some. But the blossoms are coming back in. There's another sucker that grew out the back with blossoms. Just pollinate it a little bit. This massive plant right here, if you've been following along, is my Carolina Reaper. And this plant has to be one of the biggest plants. It's almost bigger than my vines. Absolutely wild growth. And the fruits are actually very scary. Look at the texture on these guys. Oh, Very frightening texture. Let me try to get in there and show you a ripe one. There's one back here. It looks very scary. Got that one here. That one back there. These have the traditional reaper uh, shape to them. Some of them don't have the shape. I think this is a very unstable uh, variety, variety to begin with. But it's hunkered down with these fruits absolutely everywhere. I don't even think I'm ever gonna eat these. Uh, it's very frightening, but I do have them there. They are ornamental, I guess. Oh, look at that guy. They are super cool. They are the coolest things ever. There's something back here too. Very gnarly looking pepper. I'm just gonna let it keep growing. Here's the reservoir. There's two pumps in here. I added a float valve recently because the 29 gallon uh, reservoir was getting sucked dry of water. So I added a fresh water supply over here, which tops off the main reservoir via a float valve, which is right there. And just make sure that this stays full. So we have 27 gallons, 27 gallons. And as always, I just add nutrients as necessary. I added some this morning because I could see some yellowing patterns. And also I measure it with the PPM meter and it was a little on the low side, uh, about 600. Now it's closer to 1200. Back here, you can see a little cutting that already has a fruit on it. Very tiny cutting. And there's a reason why it's not growing. It's because it has this fruit there. If I were to pick that fruit off, it would continue to grow into a larger vine but the energy is currently being concentrated into the tomato. Back here you see another tomato. That's the same variety in the first bucket. 
These are patio choice, determinate type. You can see the little tomatoes there and you'll see them right here. Very productive, very vigorous growth. This, had, this is loaded already with tomatoes. These are gonna be small cherry type dwarf tomatoes. Wrapped up in here is also where I picked this from. It was a tiny little vine and I think it still has a fruit on it. It has two. Let's see if we can get in there. That's where this red tomato came from. It was right in this area sitting there. Again, beautiful tomato. Here we have the fig. This is so crazy. I have never seen anything like this. There's figs everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere. This is rather interesting because I have begun to air layer this branch and it suddenly spit out tons of fruit. It started branching off and just going all around wild. The trunk on this plant, it's, it's a tree. It's practically a tree growing here in my media beds. There you can see the fruit all the way up. This plant has to be huge by now. See that? It's a little taller than me. Yeah, it's set up on a about a four foot pedestal, but it already goes above my head. And the fruit is to no end. I believe it's starting to ripen, ripen up. It's a little small, but it's beginning to ripen up. Again, we have the chives here. We have the parsley. We have a volunteer basil. Hello, Mr. Basil. It came in, uh, I'm not sure if I put a cutting in here or if I drop the seed in there, but we have some volunteer basil coming out. These are the sweet peppers, the mini sweet peppers. The color's absolutely vibrant. You can see this is the biggest one right here on the plants. There's actually one plant inside of a pot there and there's four plants inside of this one and that's actually the one with the biggest fruit i'll show you that now those are actually still in soil see there's four there and i believe there's only one over here down here you can see and it's rather interesting that the biggest fruit is actually on the one that is most crowded i believe this is going to catch up though this one seems kind of chunky Anyway, I'm happy that I could bring you guys these updates. Even in these harsh times, you can see everything is still absolutely thriving. This is amazing. I really can't wait to expand this setup, but I'm in the process of possibly moving to a new location and we get to start from scratch. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for supporting me. Look at this beautiful harvest once again. I'm going to demolish this right now. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. See you later. Peace.